thought today, I don't get a chance to talk to you folks too much because I've just been too busy building. thought today we'd talk a little bit about rigging terms. Uh, one thing we've been doing recently and getting things wrapped up here is what you call stropping a block. And stropping a block is simply getting a line around your blocks to hold them in place with, uh, well, it's a continuous hoop or loop. So what you do is you take a line like this, that's three times longer than what you need, and you wind it back together. This is a three strand rope, comes right off of a spool like this, and then you unwind it to get one strand, and then you rewind it in a hoop, a loop. And that becomes a strop that you fasten a block to your mast or boom or gaff part of the rig. Um, so we're going to be kind of talking a little bit of technical terms today and I think you'll learn a few things. We've been really working hard. We've got beautiful weather here in Ponchoine, Michigan, just north of Petoskey. So you can see the change. And it's been a cold spring. Uh, it was 30s and 40s just a few weeks ago, so it was kind of tough to do our last finish work. We've gotten all of our bright work done, the varnishing, we've got the mast tops painted white. Uh, sometimes people ask, well, why are your mast tops white? Well, believe it or not, all mast tops were white without paint. It's where the birds landed. So by putting paint on the mast tops, it kind of camouflaged. Uh, what the birds put on it and it protected it uh, bird poop has a way of uh, eating varnish uh, so yeah uh, these blocks we made over the winter all by hand and we've got sheaves in them got these from Irish boat shop a friend of mine over there by the name of John Gaffel that's in charge of service they were very kind to us and uh, helping us out with this uh, we had some lashing that was supposed to come uh, from a distributor out east, big supplier of a lot of our material. Uh, somehow it fell through, the order got mixed up, and I had to go into Hobby Lobby, believe it or not, and get some materials, and I found this is what I needed. This is waxed cotton, it's very, very strong, and you use this to take your strop hoop or loop and tie it together so that it fits firmly on the mast so it won't slide down over your cleat. You can't see under there, but there's these cleats right under this. And this is part of our topping lift that'll raise the sails, the gaff up. With the rigging, that's the boom. Here's a gaff, it's a smaller component, fits up top kind of about this angle right here. Again, the boom jaws, the boom crotch, but it's a gaff, gaff jaws, gaff crotch. And what's unique about the Mackinac boats is it has only one halyard, one line going through the blocks to raise the sail. Most all traditional gaff rig boats have two lines, one for the throat halyard, one for the peak halyard, and that's all called your topping lift. Mackinac boats, they were ingenious inventions, very simple, very seaworthy, and they were work boats. So one man could handle a uh, Mackinac boat with two masts and a jib, three sails, all by himself. Part of that reason was had one line that raised the sails on each one. So anyway, thanks to Hobby Lobby, we're able to stay on course. We're hoping to launch Monday. Look forward to talking to you. Thanks.